Hey, welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Tonight, we're talking about a very exciting topic, CB radio and FM. Yes, the FCC looks poised to finally, legally, bring FM to 11 meters. Let's get into it. Now, you gotta know, I love 11 meters. I grew up in 11 meters. A lot of people in the ham community don't wanna say that they were ever on the chicken band. Well, I grew up on that in the 90s. Uh, we had a base station, we had it in the car. I mean, this was before you know cell phones were readily available. So CB really was my method of communication with my family. Now, of course, growing up, I had access to two ways to modulate my signal, AM, and sideband. That's right, FM was not a feature on CB radios in my day growing up on 11 meters, but now the FCC wants to allow manufacturers to have FM included on their radios. Now, this is gonna bring a lot of good things, I think, for professional users of the CB radio band. That means truckers. Uh, you know, because a lot of times when the skip is really rolling, the cycle is at its peak, uh, sometimes it can actually interfere with truckers communicating up and down the highways. FM is going to really cut that down. It's going to provide for a better clarity of signal and just better short range communication without having to worry about people from all over the country and really all over the world when the cycle is at its peak interfering as you're trying to talk a few miles up and down the interstate. So that is a good thing. That is a benefit. But it seems a little strange that they're bringing FM in now and I think it's going to be a mess for a while. Let me tell you why. So the FCC goes out and passes this new change to Part 95. All of a sudden now we have FM radios being sold at every truck stop in the country. What's going to happen? Well, people are going to buy new radios, those that are the most frequent users of 11 meters, and they're going to start using them. And of course they're going to want to use the new features, right? A new way to modulate your signal. So you're going to have FM mixing with AM on the same 40 channels 11 meters has had for the longest time. That's going to lead to interference for a lot of people that have an old radio that just has AM and sideband. I mean, everybody has grandpa's old CB radio sitting in their basement, and guess what? It does AM and sideband. So they go to turn it on, and all of a sudden they're hearing things that they're not familiar with. They can't understand the signal. Hmm, what am I going to do? I really want to use CB radio. I wonder what they're going to do. And that is where it gets really interesting, because it's really not the FCC that really wants to do this. Who actually wanted this to occur? Who lobbied the FCC to make it happen? Well, that's simple. Cobra Electronics. Yes, Cobra is the one that petitioned the FCC to make this change happen. In fact, it's been three years in the making. In 2017, they filed this petition for reconsideration. That's how long this has been moving through the bureaucratic wheels of government. Let's take a look and see what they actually said on their petition to the FCC. Now here is what Cobra says in their petition. Allowing FM capability in radios would allow users to enjoy the benefits of FM if they so choose, while ensuring every new radio sold could communicate with all the existing radios in the field. Cobra also suggests that an FM option will benefit the CB radio user, both professional and recreational, and that it will provide better quality and clarity of communication. Now, Cobra didn't go with this lobbying alone. They enlisted the help of one of their friends in the industry to make this happen. Yes, they went to President Radio, who also commented on this petition with Cobra. President Electronics USA says, they concur that AM and FM each have unique advantages and together provide a better user experience for CB radios. Okay, so FM becomes a thing, people pull out their radios, and they're starting to hear unintelligible signals that they can't understand. They get frustrated. The channels that they've always used now have some signal that they can't even understand what's being said. I wonder what they're going to do. Oh, that's right. They're going to go buy a new radio. And they're probably going to buy a Cobra, at least here in the United States. Maybe a president, too. That is what is behind this change. Nothing really has changed in 11 meters in a long time. In fact, the last time the FCC considered Part 95 changes, they decided not to change and include FM, which led to this petition in the first place many years ago. This is all about sales. It's all about selling new radios, some kind of new marketing to spur sales for Cobra, President, and others that are gonna to have to adjust their radios to include FM, which means more product out the door, more revenue in the bank. Okay, okay, all fine and good. Again, I think there are some advantages, especially for truckers when it comes to the top of the solar cycle. However, 
One thing I think that is being missed here is the chance to maybe expand the channels a little bit. Maybe give them a little bit more spectrum or designate certain channels that FM can be used and AM cannot. Now, let's be honest, this is 11 meters, so people following the rules, I don't know if that's exactly the place I would think of, uh, you know, 11 meters following the rules, uh, I'm not so sure. But at least try to come up with some kind of plan about how FM could be used on 11 meters because if you're gonna make it a free-for-all on 40 channels, again, it's gonna have the exact intended effect Cobra wants it to have. If they were smart about it, uh, they would make, again, a, ch a petition to want to have more channels included. But again, their goal is interference, people wondering what's going on, chatter about what are those signals, and then people buying new radios. That is what Cobra wants out of this. But that's my opinion. You tell me what you think. Drop me a comment down below, let me know. If you haven't, hit subscribe, hit the like button. I'll catch you again next time.